Hey there, welcome to the 37th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. In this tutorial, I wanted to give you a brief introduction to what JSON is and what it looks like because we'll be using JSON very thoroughly over the next few tutorials while we cover custom JavaScript objects. So what is JSON? So JSON is short for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a lightweight data interchange format, which means that you can use this data to send and receive information between systems, whether it's your browser on a server or a server on a server, etc. XML is another example of a data interchange format. Um, it's easy to re understand. Uh, even people who have never seen JSON, if they see it uh, formatted properly, they can read it very easily. It's easy to understand for both humans and machines. It's also language independent, which means that it can be used with any programming language, whether you're using PHP or Java or just plain old JavaScript. And JSON uh, allows you to use name value pairs, which is not available in arrays, something I've mentioned in the past. So you can have kind of like an associated array feel in JavaScript by using JSON. So what does JSON look like? So I have a couple of examples here of JSON and XML. Uh, they're both outputting the exact same thing, but as you can see, JSON is much shorter than XML. XML kind of looks like HTML because it has an open and close tag. Um, <clears throat> they're both very readable, uh, which normally means that they're self-describing. Uh, both JSON and XML support hierarchical values. So you have the person up here and then IDs down here. Here I have, this is the main, whoops, this is the main, uh, hierarchy and then inside we have the the sub values the the sub hierarchy uh, sub levels separated by commas whereas here is separated by an end tag uh, json also supports array so you can have one object and inside that object you can have an array which is of course separated by commas and inside the array values you have more json objects and this is what the xml looks like so both json and xml can be parsed and used by lots of programming language but json is preferred by most programmers both JSON and XML also can be fetched using XML HTTP requests. It's just another way of saying AJAX, and that's something we'll cover in the next in a future tutorial. So JSON is unlike XML because JSON doesn't use an end tag, as we see here. JSON is much shorter, and it's usually quicker to read and write for both machines and people. So the biggest difference between uh, XML and JSON is that XML uh, may need to be parsed using an XML parser uh, at some point, uh, whereas JSON can be parsed by a standard JavaScript function. That's one of the biggest differences. So JSON in your script. So when we're going to be creating JSON uh, objects in the next few tutorials, uh, you'll see that we'll, we're assigning JSON data into variables. Just like I have here, person is a variable. It's a, it's a JavaScript object containing all of these properties. Uh, to access object value, you use the dot notation. So if I want to access the ID, I would do person dot ID. Uh, to access something that's in a lower level, I'll do person dot social dot website or dot Facebook, etc. You can also use a square bracket notation. So if you're familiar with arrays, you want to keep it, you know, simple that way. Uh, you can do person and in brackets do ID or person in brackets do social Facebook, etc. You can have as many dimensions to JSON as you want. So over the next few tutorials, JSON is going to be a big part of our lives because uh, JavaScript objects follow the JSON formatting. Uh, so I hope this introduction was a little bit helpful, gave you an idea of what JSON looks like, what it is, and how we'll be using it. Um, please come back for the next few tutorials where, where I'll be showing you how to create your own objects, how to uh, create your own methods, your properties, etc. with JavaScript. Uh, Thanks for watching. Remember to visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Also, feel free to reach out uh, using my website. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Have a great one.